guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing with you a look at Lake Elsinore's Launch Point RV experience. Let's jump in. Now, a quick disclaimer before I jump into the footage. Uh, while this is an RV resort um, designed to be an RV experience, as they uh, say in their advertising, we didn't stay in an RV. There are a couple of different options when it comes to camping there at the lake. Obviously, the RV slots, they also have vintage trailers that you can rent that looked really cool. We didn't stay in those either. We stood in yurts. Uh, we rented two, one large one, one small one, just so we had enough for our party. Uh, so I can't tell you the specifics about like the hookups and things like that when it comes to RVs. Uh, but I did get a look at the RV facilities and have a couple of thoughts about them. But before that, let's jump into the footage so you can get a look around, see the place that we stayed at, and see the park in general. <laughs> okay, so we just arrived here at Launch Point in Lake Elsinore. Uh, the yurts are beautiful. We have two. Um, and the deck on, we have the Elsinore and the Lodge. The Elsinore is the largest one. It only sleeps six, but the space is enormous. The deck is huge. We've got, as you can see behind me, we've got this fire pit right here. We've got all the seating back here. We have a view of the lake. So this is really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to this weekend. It should be a lot of fun, but so far it's real nice. This is sweet. But I'll, I brought soap. Oh, good. Can I have it? <laughs> no. It's in the truck. Oh, yeah. I got Everyone retreat back into the house. You guys can go back in if you want. So we had a pretty big rainstorm last night. <laughs> We were fine. Obviously, the yurt stayed dry. Uh, it was noisy, but uh, kind of cool. And it smells amazing out here. It's pretty early. It is, let's see, it's about 7.15. Um, my oldest sister, myself, and my oldest sister's husband are the only ones who are awake. Uh, I'm already ready for the day. Uh, I'll probably start cooking breakfast in a few uh, as the kids start to wake up and then we're gonna get a rent a pontoon boat and do some fishing so it should be a good day. Really quickly we had our own private like fenced in yard. That became like our makeshift kitchen. We have our sink and then all of the yurts come with their own bathroom. You are outdoors but it's certainly convenient and a little bit more like sanitary when it comes to but like better than porter bodies, I would say. I would say. But yeah, this is our this was our little courtyard. So as you can see, Launch Point has a lot of great amenities. Uh, our yurt was beautiful. Both of them were really, really nice and comfortable. I'm just gonna go in briefly, giving you a review of the spaces that we actually rented. Uh, my impressions about the places that I saw and the spaces that we used as well. Um, the Elsinore is meant to be reserved for a maximum of six people. Double that could have easily fit. Um, the rooms were comfortable, spacious. There was um, heating and air. There were three units in ours and two in the lodge, I believe. If I'm mistaken, I will correct that here. Um, uh, I will say this, the, um, the controls for the AC slash heat were a little bit sensitive. It was hard to kind of gauge it. Sometimes we would change it by a few degrees and it would get too hot or it would get too cold. 
it wasn't a crazy big I uh, it wasn't a crazy big deal we kind of got the hang of it after a while but there was definitely a learning curve there um, but the space inside and out was awesome super spacious very clean well maintained um, we slept comfortably <laughs> the first night we were there it rained like crazy pretty much all night we stood absolutely dry warm there wasn't a humidity issue there wasn't a leak issue nothing like that we stood warm toasty and dry so that was really great the deck was awesome we ate breakfast out there we did a weenie roast out there and had a great time we obviously we made s'mores and stuff we pretty much had a fire every night and it was very, very comfortable. There was an insane amount of seating, quite a bit of shade just because they provided really high quality umbrellas there. So that was really nice. I'll link the website below and there are tours that you can do like virtual tours where you can manipulate on your phone or your PC um, or your Mac, whatever, um, to where you can actually do like a virtual tour of the space. It was great uh, to kind of eat breakfast there, have a view of the lake. There is a parking lot in between the lake and the yurt village, but we are the, the yurt village is the closest and has the best view of the lake. And uh, the parking lot really, it didn't get full at all. So our view of the lake wasn't really diminished. It was actually really pretty. Uh, the deck does get hot to where you would probably need to wear sandals to walk on it unless you have like Fred Flintstone feet. Um, but at the same time at night, the deck does not get cold. And in fact, the stone, um, in the center of the deck is the fire pit and it's all brick. That stood very comfortably, pleasantly warm in the evening time. So it just made it a nice cozy space in the evening um, to kind of hang out. The fridges worked great. Um, each of the yurts is equipped with a sink outside and a private toilet outside, kind of like um, outhouse-ish. It's actually, it's plumbing. It's not an outhouse where you're like peeing in a hole in the ground or even a porta potty. There's plumbing there and it's a flushable toilet, but um, it's basically just enclosed um, around you um, front and side, front side and back. There's no roof. So basically when you're in there, you can see the trees and stuff, but it's pretty private. They're all in the back. There is a great deal of space between each of the yurts. And then um, while each of the yurts aren't equipped with their own private showers, there is a set of showers and bathrooms available for, um, for use. And those showers were great. They were very clean. The water was hot. It took maybe 30 seconds for it to heat up. It starts out cold. Um, it heats up really well. The stream is um, kind of medium. It's not weak. It's not strong, um, which I appreciated because there's no barrier in between where you're hanging your clothes at the front of the shower stall and uh, where the water is. Um, sometimes there's like a little partition and um, your clothes don't get wet, which is nice. I appreciated that. Um, it would have been nice. Only one of the bathrooms was equipped with any type of bench to put your things on, but all of them had hooks that you can put your things on. And all of them require you to be a guest to use them. Uh, that goes for the showers and the public bathrooms. You get like a little key fob when you stay there and you um, almost like a hotel key sensor. You don't slip it in, but you press it toward it and um, it uh, you press it against the sensor and that's what opens it for you. So Joe Schmo off the street can't come in and use the bathroom. You actually have to be a guest there. And in fact, when you are a guest of the Yurt Village and the RV Village, you have to wear a wristband as well, which we did. So the, the facilities were incredibly clean. Staff was professional, didn't really see too much of them actually. In fact, we were the only ones there for most of our trip. There was two other people staying in the yurts, one in the rock star, didn't even really see or hear them. And then another um, small family in one of the yurts, I'm not exactly sure which one it was, uh, saw them in the morning very quiet. Like I said, there's a great deal of space in between you and the other yurts, um, allowing for privacy, noise, unless you have like a really rowdy group, noise wasn't really a problem. And in fact, the yurt village has the most privacy out of uh, the entire resort. So let's go on and talk about my brief impressions of the rest of the facility. Now we had looked at staying in the vintage trailers. Um, think like the vintage silver Airstreams. They're really pretty on the outside. 
it's in a really cute courtyard um, with these beautiful stone fireplaces that you saw in my video. Um, it, while it doesn't have as much space in between each unit as the yurt space, it is pretty spacious. You're not like right on top of each other, which is nice, but it's, it's not like a huge space by any means. And there are only like five or six units. Uh, these units, some of them do not allow children. Some of them allow only two guests her and each individual is different and uh, they are pretty much kept in original condition which is probably why they don't allow too many people and in particular children to stay there so if you are thinking that it's this beautiful vintage trailer on the outside and it's going to look like a Pinterest redo on the inside that's not the case you're going to have old plumbing um old bedding or not old bedding but like the old built-in furniture that's in there it's all original to um to the vintage of the trailer um but they did look nice on the inside and um i don't know if they were rented out when we walked through there didn't appear to be a whole lot of people there but they did look cute and the um fireplaces did look nice and cozy but you do have to share um, it's like a double-sided fireplace. You do have to share those with the other units that are there, but I don't foresee that being a problem. Usually people who do the camping thing are used to other people kind of being in their space a little bit. Okay. <laughs> in the RV facility, you will find um, a splash pad and a playground. Both, both of these units, my kids and my niece made heavy use of. They had a lot of fun. Um, they're not crazy elaborate, nor are they like super spare. They're kind of in between. Um, and I can imagine when the RV um, lot gets super crowded, especially in the summertime, that these um, that these two spots are going to get super crowded. Um, so just kind of be aware of that. Um, the pool looked incredibly clean, looked really nice and comfortable. It's not huge, but it's not small. Now, just really quickly, my impressions just from my uh, walk through um, in the RV section of the the resort, uh, the slots for the in, for the individual RV spots are pretty small, and they are very close together. Uh, so you're going to be pretty close to your neighbors when you go. It's pretty it's pretty tight, I would say. Um, and honestly, <laughs> it could be um depending on who your neighbor is it might be so close that you're kind of hating life but i mean obviously that would be up to you um incidentally when we went pretty much the entire rv section of the resort was rented out by um a particular facebook group that just rvs and says hey we're coming here this time and a bunch of people go so um they all kind of were familiar with each other which is why i suspect it was so cohesive um, there were, um, like groups with pop-up tents and stuff like that, that kind of bled into each section and nobody really seemed to mind, but they all kind of knew each other. Um, if you had somebody doing that who was a stranger, um, maybe you not might, you might not find that as ideal. And then there's like a community center type, um, building, uh, that can be used. Um, there was an event going on there for that big Facebook group. Um, people have done weddings there. It looks really cute. Um, there is also a rent. There is also a restaurant and like bait and tackle shop, which is pretty close to the yurt village. In fact, my sister's um, yurt was um, just a few yards away from it. The food was great. It was a very soft opening. They had just opened up that weekend, as a matter of fact, and. Uh, my brother-in-law brought some ribs over from over there and they were really really delicious but they have like you know ice cream and stuff it's like a basic general store there in case you forget anything and you're about 10 minutes away from a walmart as well so all in all this was a great experience we had a lot of fun we had a great time on the lake even though it got a little bit uh windy so the waves were picking up pretty much when we were on the pontoon coming back in uh going out it was beautiful and fishing it was beautiful uh, riding back in was a little bit rough and my poor sister, I mean, she was in the front of the pontoon kind of blocking the kids from all of the bad weather and she was a sport. She got totally soaked, but um, all in all, it was definitely an adventure and it was a lot of fun. It was definitely a glamping experience, um, especially us staying in that yurt. If you, you saw how it was very mid-center, it looked like Palm Springs all over inside the yurt. Um, 
but it was a lot of fun. Uh, great amenities there. You can fish, you can swim. Um, there were jet ski rentals. Um, gosh, what else was there? The restaurant, the pool, the splash pad, the playground, those were great to have to keep the kids busy. And the fact that we all had access to fire pits was really great in terms of s'mores and just kind of hanging around the fire. Um, we, um, we had to bring in our camping stove uh, to do our cooking with in the yurt. Um, and um, we also, um, I would recommend if you do stay there, I would recommend bringing in your own water. Uh, the water in the sink looked a little bit cloudy to me. It didn't, it didn't smell bad or like we washed our dishes in it just fine and it did okay, but it was just a little bit cloudy to where I didn't know if I wanted to be actually consuming a whole ton of it. I was okay doing my dishes in it, but anything more than that, I was like, eh. So uh, we definitely brought like bottles of drinking water and then I bought a couple of jugs of water to do our cooking with. Um, but all in all, it was a great experience. We had a lot of fun. The place was really, really nice and well kept. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend if you are in the Southern California area and are looking for a um, less rugged camping site where you and your family can have a lot of fun, this would definitely be a place, especially if you have new or reluctant campers, because for the most part, there's, um, there isn't any tent camping with the exception of the yurt village. They allow one two man tent per site along with the rental of the yurt. So say if you had a slightly larger party, you'd keep a couple of people out in the tent. But other than that, you are either going to be in a yurt, an RV, or um, one of their vintage RVs. So it's not exactly roughing it, you know what I mean? So if you're new to camping or trying to like dip your toe into the camping pond, or maybe you kind of want the experience, but you also don't want to leave the luxuries of civilization behind, this is definitely gonna be up your alley. This was a little glam for me. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed it. Um, but um, personally, I would have liked maybe like um, like a nature trail or something. I think that would be something uh, that would definitely add to the experience, but I like hiking. Uh, anyhow, like I said, all in all, I would definitely recommend this place if you are in the Southern California area. Um, Lake Elsinore is kind of in between LA and San Diego and uh, it was a lot of fun. So uh, again, highly recommend. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a look into Launch Point and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care and bye for now.